Well, hey, hey, hey there, pedal people. It's the pedal guy here. How you doing? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take an in-depth look at the binary echo pedal from Hot Tone. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Well, as the name would suggest, the echo pedal is a delay pedal from the Hot Tone people. Uh, this is part of the, their uh, series of four pedals in the binary series. There's the amp, the cab, both of which we've done videos for already. Uh, we're going to do this one for the Echo, obviously, now. And then there's one more called the Mod, which we'll do in a future video tutorial. But in this take, uh, we're going to cover the Echo pedal, which has 17 different types of delay built into it. So it really is quite a little powerhouse. Um, and it has a lot of great features built into it. It's a stereo in and stereo out pedal. It has an expression uh, jack, so you can plug in an expression pedal to the, the, this pedal and use it to create more expressive performances. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of great stuff here that we're going to cover. But before, we, before you do go through this, this clinic or this uh, tour of the pedal, make sure that you download and install the latest version of the firmware uh, for the Echo pedal because Hot Tone did implement some new features uh, specifically uh, into uh, version 1.1.1. Um, and you want to make sure that you update to it because I'd hate for you to go through this whole thing and then you start looking at it and you wonder, hey, why isn't that feature in here? It's on the video. Why isn't it on the pedal? Well, it's because you're not, at, uh, you're not updated to the latest firmware. So make sure you go to the Hot Tone website, download the binary editor, install it, uh, plug in your uh, Echo pedal into your computer via the USB port, and uh, run the firmware updater from the binary editor. And that should do it. And the binary editor is also really good in case you need to do a factory reset. Okay, so to turn on the echo, it's very simple. Use the far foot switch here on the far left, the on-off foot switch. That turns it on. You can tell it's on because all five of the knobs are illuminated there at the top. There's a great OLED display here, as you can see. Um, there are ten patches uh, subdivided out by two banks, so five patches in each bank. Um, to access those patches, just use the patch uh, foot switch here to the far right, and that'll allow you to get through A1 through 5. And then if you want to get to bank B, just simply press and hold the two foot switches down, and now you're in bank B. So there's B1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll go back to bank A for the time being, though. Um, now at the top, uh, the knobs here, you have your mix knob, which uh, enables you to mix between your dry and wet signal. Then you have your A and B knobs. Now the A and B knobs, mainly for most of this pedal, are based on modulation depth and modulation rate. But uh, in other, in some of the other uh, delays that are built in, those two uh, knobs will do something a little different. To the far right of that, we have the feedback, where you can go from uh, very little feedback, one, one reflection in fact, all the way up to infinity and beyond. Um, I wouldn't suggest that unless you really know what you're doing uh, until you get this under your thumbs bit. Um, and then there's the time knob here. And the time knob can go all the way up to 1,000 milliseconds, and it actually can go higher than that. But by default on this particular patch, it's set to uh, 1,000 milliseconds. Okay, so uh, around the OLED display here, we have the plus and minus buttons, which are used to scroll up or down the different uh, types of delay, or when you're going into the global parameters, it can be used to select an on-off or assign, uh, assign a, a different parameter to the expression pedal, things of that nature. So we'll, I'll show you that in one second here. But we also have to the far right, we have the global button and the save and exit button. Now, the save and exit button is pretty obvious, so we'll, we'll leave that one alone for now. But let's go into the global button here. And OK, so the first thing is your input mode, which is set to mono. You can choose between stereo and mono quite easily. Go into the glo uh, click on that global button setting again here, and you've got your max delay time, which can be anywhere from 1,000 all the way up to 4,000 milliseconds, which is a heck of a long time. Press that button again, and now you can set the different parameter that's going to be assigned to your expression pedal. Uh, going in from there, your expression uh, range minimum can start at uh, zero, um, and your maximum can go up to 100, anywhere from zero to 100. Now from there, 
you want to um, you want to calibrate your expression pedal, which is done by going to the uh, that that particular screen that we were just on there. So just press the global button until you see that screen again. Now press the plus button to enter into the calibration mode. And this is done because if you have a um, if you have an expression pedal and you're going to use it with this uh, with the echo pedal, you do need to calibrate it first to get the best performance out of it. So uh, what you want to do is uh, the, use the heel position, meaning the heel is down on the expression pedal. And once you're in a comfortable position, just go ahead and press the plus button, which is the yes button. Um, and then uh, you want to go to the toe position. So lift the heel, push the toe down, and go to a uh, comfortable uh, setting, and then press the yes button again. And now the calibration is complete. All right, easy as pie. So just keep going trail on and off. This is a very important feature because if you turn the pedal, if the trail is off and you turn the pedal off, even if there's something reflecting from the echo pedal, like there's a delay that's continuing on, um, it'll turn off immediately. But if you turn on trail on, then if you turn the pedal off with a long delay, you'll still hear the delay uh, play out in the background, which you probably want to keep that going. Uh, okay, so the global, let's one more time just to check the firmware that you're using, which is 1.1.1. So now uh, onto the back of the unit, we have a stereo input here on the back, which can be used either as a mono input or a stereo tip ring sleeve input. Uh, we have the expression pedal uh, jack right here, and I'm using a, a decent little uh, expression pedal, but uh, make sure you get yourself a good one for the best performance, of course. Got the power jack and there's also a USB jack above that and then to the far left here we have the right output and the left output. Now uh, the left output can also sub as a uh, mono output as well so if you only want to use this in a mono environment that's the output you would use. Okay without further ado uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the first patch which is called uh, the Dream Echo and this is based on a BBD analog delay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the mic and let's go to it. Okay, so one of the last things I'm going to show you before we start exploring the patches here of the Echo is the uh, tap tempo feature. Um, now, before I start this part, I just want to remind you, this is something that you definitely want to make sure that you update the firmware because I'm going to show you something here that you won't find on the, uh, the standard version of the Echo pedal when you first buy it if it has the old, um, if it has the old firmware on it. So, uh, tap tempo, uh, pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of pedals that have that out there. But what you do is you press and hold the, ta the uh, patch tap foot switch here, press and hold, and you enter tap tempo mode, and you can see that the time knob there is uh, blinking. And if I play a note, let's turn up a little bit first. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Now if I want to speed that up, I just start pressing the, pa the uh, tap button in succession. slow it down. Now if I want to uh, speed that up just a little bit. Okay, so that's a good, there's a good starting point. All right, so uh, at this point now, if I start using the time knob here, I can now go into divisions based on that tempo. So if I'm, I've set to whole notes here, then I'm going to get something that sounds like this. I can change it to half. I can change to half dotted. Half triplet. 
quarter, quarter dotted, quarter triplet. Anyway, you get the point. So we could go to, you know, eighth triplets if we wanted to and have a little fun. All the way up to 16th notes. So once you're done, just simply press and hold the patch tap button again, and now you're back into standard mode. But the edits you made are still there. Okay, we are ready to start exploring now. So let's go ahead and bring the guitar back up. And uh, we're going to uh, play a little bit with the Dream Echo again first. And uh, then we'll switch to the next one, which is... Um, uh, the uh, 80 Echo, and that's based on a, a Maxon 8080. Uh, and then I'll switch between them so that you can hear the difference between the two Echoes. <laughs> All right, you can definitely hear that it is uh, a little more, uh, the presence is definitely there a lot more on the uh, Dream Echo as opposed to the, the uh, 8080. Uh, but let's continue on and we'll move up to the uh, memory. Now, before we get into that a little bit, what I want to make sure is this is based on a electroharmonics memory man, and you can hear that feedback just a little bit there, can't you? So I'm going to turn the feedback down um, because this is one of those this is one of those uh, delays that if you're not careful with the feedback, you can get this really nasty feedback loop, and uh, you just want to practice safe delay. <laughs> So as you can hear, that sounds quite a bit different than the other two uh, delays we've played with so far. So now we're going to move to the 900 Echo, which is based off of a Maxon 8900. <laughs> All right, again, that's a, that's a definitely a different pedal, a different delay than what you get with the uh, Memory Man there. Uh, so we're going to go to the last of the uh, Maxton emulations here. Oops, wrong button. And we're going to go to the uh, 999 Echo, which is based on an 8990. 999, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. 
it's definitely a different sounding delay when you put the two together. Uh, when you compare it against the 900 to the 999, um, the 999 has a much more chorusy like effect to it, and it uh, you, you just have to kind of play with it until you until you find a setting you really like. But it's it's very usable. So now we're going to get into what's called pure echo, and uh, the pure echo is uh, just a pure delay effect. So let's have a listen. Now this is one of those ones where I could go in and change the maximum delay time to say 4,000 milliseconds. And when I play this, you're going to hear a completely different type of, well, I mean, it's going to go pretty far. So let's set that up to 4,000 milliseconds and give it a shot. All right, so you can definitely hear that the pure delay is, is just a very, very basic delay, but you can get some very effective sounds out of it. And now we're going to get into kind of some of the more vintage type of sounds, uh, starting with the warm echo. Now, the uh, warm echo is, um, as it would sound, a, a warmer type of uh, delay, uh, so there's a little, a little bit of saturation in the way that the uh, delays play back. So let's give this one a shot. So I hope you're hearing the difference there. The pure echo is a lot more present, whereas the warm echo has got a nice sort of warm roll off as the reflections play out. So let's continue that on and let's move up to the tape echo and uh, have a listen to this one. So I don't know if you're, if you're noticing the difference there, but as I'm changing to the different types of delay over here, you can see that the mix knob is actually assigned to different types of parameters. With the tape echo, you're working with an echo level. When you're working with the warm echo, you're working with a mix. Um, and that's just indicative of the models that they're based off of. So uh, a tape echo, um, it, it's going to sound much different than uh, the, uh, the, the warm echo, obviously. Um, and then when we get to the tube echo, go ahead and go up to that one and then have a look. Now we're back to mix again. So you got to kind of look and play with each one of the different delays because these knobs could mean something different. Like, for example, here's another example, uh, the low cut. So knob A, instead of being a modulation depth or rate, is a low cut filter. And then you have a high cut filter on 
uh, knob B. So that will give you a much different sound. So what I'll do is uh, uh, give you some examples. So that tube echo is really cool, right? Because you've got uh, a low cut filter and a high cut filter, so it's it's basically an EQ for the delay reflections, um, and you just get a much a much different sound. And that's that's the thing is that while delays on the surface at times can sound very very similar to each other, they all have a different uh, a different take. Now this one's going to be one that you'll definitely agree sounds much different, and this is the uh, this is going to be the um, uh, the vintage rack. Uh, echo and this is based more on an 80s uh, digital rack dis, uh, digital display uh, digital delay from a rack uh, in the 80s and uh, it's going to have uh, uh, there's going to be some some low end uh, artifacts distortion <laughs> So it's almost like a low fidelity, uh, uh, low fidelity delay. So you can use that for some interesting ambience if, if you want to. All right. So the next one we're going to work with is the dual echo, um, which, as the name would suggest, are two echoes. So you have two delays working off of each other. And uh, let's just—I want to give you just a quick example of what this sounds like, uh, so you can hear the preset, which is uh, uh, preset A5. So let me just mute the mic here, and so you can hear it. Obviously, a much different sound. And what you can do is you make use of the A, B, um, the feedback, and the time knobs, but not in the way that you may think. Um, so, knob A, for example, on this on this preset or for this type of delay, the dual echo delay, knob A is used to change the feedback of echo A, and then knob B is used to change the time of echo A. So let's bring that up to about 2,000 milliseconds. Um, and uh, let's put the feedback up around, say, 40, and let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> So in that case, it sounded very similar to Echo B, uh, which is controlled by these two knobs. Now with Echo B, um, the uh, the time is uh, the feedback is controlled by the feedback knob. So in that case, it does correlate nicely. Um, and then the timing is time uh, is uh, for time uh, for Echo B is is controlled with the time knob. So in this case here, I had the I had the milliseconds around 2,000. So let's try something that's not quite in sync with that. Let's try around 550 and let's see what kind of uh, result that produces for us. And let's also make sure we got plenty of feedback. All right, there we go. 
Okay, the next one we're going to work with is the ping pong delay. And the ping pong delay is a uh, delay that goes uh, from left to right. So it's a very stereophonic sound. And this is why we wanted to record this in stereo so that you could hear the difference. So uh, without further delay, no pun intended, let's go to it. Again, that's definitely a, a delay you can get in a lot of trouble with pretty quick because you can uh, definitely go down the route. Okay, so the next one is going to be the sweep echo. And this is where we really start getting into the trippy stuff here. Um, now, the sweep echo is uh, a filtered, um, is a delay effect with a, with a filter on it. So the uh, filter is applying to the delay reflections. Uh, so let me just give you a quick audio example of that. This is one of my favorites by far on the pedal. The uh, sweep echo is so cool because you got the, you know, the, the feedback and the, and the time, but you also have the rate and the cue point where you can set up the, the low pass filter. Um, so you can create some just amazingly great soundscapes with this, especially if you put a big uh, reverb behind it as well. So let's keep moving along here, and we're going to go to the tremolo uh, echo, and this is a delay effect with tremolo modulation. So looking at the A and B knobs, there's the tremolo depth and the tremolo rate, and then of course the feedback and the time. 
So what we'll do here is we'll keep the depth really high. We'll go we'll go we'll go around 80. We'll keep it around 80 and keep the rate right around 40 there. And uh, we'll, and uh, oh, let's take a look at that mix real quick. All right, and we'll keep the mix right around 70, so that you can get a good solid sound, a uh, good solid example of what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, now we're going to have a little fun here. Okay, so uh, let's say we wanted to create like a Leslie effect, right? Um, what I'm going to do is turn the depth all the way up. And what I'm also going to do is uh, use the B uh, knob with my expression pedal. So let's go into the expression pedal and make sure that it is going to knob B. All right, so um, now it goes back out to the to the preset window there. Okay, there it is. All right, so now if I use my expression pedal, slow Leslie, fast Leslie. Okay, so let's listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Seriously, I could do this all day. Um, all right, so from there, we're going to go to the Lo-Fi Echo, and this has a uh, sample reduced feedback. So it's kind of like a delay that's got a bit crusher on the end. And again, just like we saw before, uh, we've got a low cut and a high cut and a low cut so that we can EQ the uh, Lo-Fi effect. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so this is where we could have fun with the time, so uh, using that with the expression pedal. So if we go to global and we set that target to time, now have a listen to what we got. Okay, so moving along, we got the ring modulator now, um, and this uh, produces a, a ring modulated feedback on the uh, delay. So in this case here, you've got uh, knob A is the, um, this is the ring modulation frequency, and then you've got the mod rate, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the mod, uh, the uh, tone, the ring modulation tone.
Okay, so I've given you a couple of examples already. You know I'm going here. Uh, let's go to global and let's set the expression pedal target to knob A, which is going to change the, uh, the, free, the ring modulation frequency. All right, so the last uh, echo we're going to look at here is the slapback. Now, this is included with uh, firmware 1.1.1, so you want to make sure you get that downloaded and install it into your echo pedal. And a slapback is used for 50s type of rhythm playing, uh, country picking. Um, there's a whole bunch of different types of uh, popular songs out there that's used slapback. Uh, it's a very standard sound. You'll, you'll definitely recognize it when you hear it. Now, the thing about slapback, just so you know, is that the timing has a maximum of 200 milliseconds because anything above that wouldn't be considered a slapback echo. So if we keep it around the 140 here, around the 140 mark, there we go, 141, that's close enough, uh, you get a sound that sounds something like this. So anyway, that's the slapback echo, um, and that pretty much wraps up the echo pedal in total. It's a great sounding pedal. There's so many usable uh, echoes that are built into this uh, in this pedal, and so many useful ways that you can use it. And the fact that it's stereo in and stereo out is is really helpful because you could use this with not just guitar, you could use it with uh, synthesizers as well, um, or you could just use it as a stereo processor if you wanted to in a uh, in a mix environment. So there's just a whole bunch of different ways that you could use this. Uh, so for more information on this pedal and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.